From point A located on a highway, one has to get by car as soon as possible to point B, located in the field at a distance L. So a person is in the car here and he can go on the highway and this bottom area is field. So he has to make a turn towards B somewhere such that the time taken for him to reach B is minimum. So velocity in the field is bit less than it is on the highway. So it's given that the car moves in the field eta times slower than on the highway. So at what distance from point D it must take the turn. So let's see, let's assume that initially it was at a distance D from the point D. And let's again say he takes a turn at a distance X. So if this is X, this is D minus X. So we have assumed both D and X. And it's given that its velocity on highway is eta V and on the field it is V. So let's find the time taken for him to reach the point B. So it's the time taken on path AC plus time taken on path CB. So on AC it is D minus X by eta V distance upon time or distance upon velocity. And for this path again distance upon velocity. So root X square plus L square by V. So for minimum time to reach B we will differentiate this DT by DX because we want to minimize the time that is equal to zero. So if you differentiate this, you will get your answer that is x is equal to L by root of eta square minus one. And if you want to know what is that time, you just put this value of x here and you will get the time. 